Okay, welcome. This is Cybert, and you're welcome to my blending mode tutorial. As a designer these days, you find it difficult to use the exact color of the picture you're actually working on, which is a very, very important thing. Nowadays, you see most designers, they do ads that don't even resemble the client. Most times, it's not their fault. They just find it difficult to choose color palettes that would rhyme what they are working on but as a designer you, you learn every day there are ways you could totally change the color of a painting even without restarting the painting or just in few minutes you could totally change the way the painting looks for example you could use any of these palettes to alter this painting to give you a perfect look even without using the blending mode but i'm not going there today you can you can message me for that part today we'll be talking about the blending modes and on auto desk we have four blending modes we have the dark we have the light and the contrast and they are yeah they are grouped into four the dark the light the contrast I've forgotten the other one I don't usually use it most times for the dark we have the darking the multiply the color bond and the linear bond for the lighting we have the lighting the screen the color dot the linear dot the glue and the soft glue I know we are all familiar with the soft glue and then for the contrast we have overlay soft light and hard light but i'll be talking about so i'll talk about most of the blending modes for an example this is a piece of art i did the painting sincerely does not resemble it does resemble the original but the color is out of place as a designer without the knowledge of blending mode and what that means you could use to change this color all you do is quit these and you start all over with the right color settings <laughs> but <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the knowledge of blending modes you could easily change this to suit your satisfaction you can see that this looks darker than my original blend than my original shading sorry this is lighter so we use the dark in blend mode first of all we try the first one darking you can see that it doesn't have much effect on it you can choose the next one which is multiply I actually I recommend multiply that's why I use most times multiply you can see that it is darkened compared to how it was but still yet it's still not the same color with the original picture you could leave it like this but more you could increase the contrast that's by duplicating it duplicating it even makes your makes it makes your work makes your work more blended even duplicating it without even adding any blending mode it just just brings out the beauty in your work I could actually duplicate it and reduce the opacity of the other layer. You see, it results into something beautiful. But instead, I could change it to a contrast blend mode. And I usually use soft light. You could see the soft light brings out the beauty in it. And compared to the original picture, even though it's not exactly but at least the colors to rhyme with the original picture. But I bet you there's a better way to do this perfectly where you substitute this color, this color palette, or any color palette you want to use after painting it. I have to tutorial on that too, you could DM me for that. So let's look at the transformation that happened here. That's the it's 
really uh, and change it to how it was you could see that this is not presentable anyway but just okay let me even count the seconds i'm not sure it's used i used up to 60 seconds to change this to an amazing art you duplicate you change one of it to multiply and the other soft light and reduce the opacity oh my god this is this is just too awesome Don't be ignorant, please be creative. You don't have to use the exact blend modes I used. It depends on what you're working on, on what you're working on and the color you're trying to arrive at. You can see we have plenty blend modes. You could just pick any one of your choice. Okay, I could briefly talk about the color blend mode. Talking about the color blend mode, it's also an amazing, an amazing blend mode. Depends on how you use it. Okay, let's duplicate this. Change the above one to color. The color blend mode. Just pick any color of your choice you're trying to replace with the former one. Let's use pink. Can you see? Can you see it does not change the shading it only changes the color it only changes the color only changes the color okay let's use blue oh my god the lady looks pretty in blue actually let's use black can you see depending on the color you're trying to change it to I tell you I bet you I don't really recommend I recommend this a bit as a perfect way like I told you earlier of, of doing this I have a tutorial on that but it costs money <laughs> and these days most times all these upcoming designers like me you don't like pay <laughs> it's cheap actually don't worry let's continue changing the colors and seeing what our color will give us Okay, let's use yellow. My gosh, she's putting yellow also. So you see, you can see that a little, a little, a little blend can change your work and make it perfect. Can make it perfect. I hope. This will help you. I hope you make use of it. Like I said earlier, be creative. You don't just use you, you keep you keep you keep seeing new opportunities every day. You keep learning every day. Don't be ignorant. Don't be don't be stagnant. Don't really depend on others. Just push forward. And then I know this tutorial will be watched by most amateurs like me that we are just upcoming, we are just starting. So please, this is just an advice. Hello. As upcoming designers, it hurts to Ooh. see that Sorry, most designers really want to. They, would, they just want to get there in one day, but it's it's not like that. You get better with each day of practice and consistency and patience. But for we upcoming designers these days, we just want to. We just want to get there in one day but it's not like that you have to pass through stages so please be patient you can't get it in one day i hope this helps thank you very much <laughs> it comes to an end for this tutorial watch out for the next tutorial i think the next tutorial will be on how you could manipulate the colors without using blending mode Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. I mean, say bye.